This is how we conduct the experiment. Starting off, we have four pieces of filter paper. On each of them, I've used a pencil and I've written down what chemical uh, or chemicals I'm going to apply to it. I've also written my name and the date, because if you're going to do an experiment that may take more than a period, you always need to label what you're leaving in the lab. The first thing we do is we're actually going to stick it in some silver nitrate. Make sure it's all covered, and then we're going to put it on our paper here. This one I did earlier. And we're actually going to cover up part of the paper with a piece of cardboard. And that's going to take away the light, and you're going to see the effect of the light covered area compared to the covered area that's dark. For the second one, we're going to dip it again into the silver nitrate, but secondly, we're then going to dip it into some silver chloride and make sure it gets fully coated. This actually instantly forms a precipitate, but it should still be okay. Um, that's what's going to be changing colour here. So I'll lay it down and again get my second piece of black cardboard and put it over the top. Thirdly, we're getting silver bromide, so silver nitrate first, and then we dip it both sides in the silver bromide so it's covered and put it on our paper and put our card on top. That one will be flat. And then lastly we do our silver iodide. much more of a yellow compound there. Put it on our paper, I'm always cross-contaminating a bit. There we go. The last bit of card. So now all we have to do is wait and see what is going to happen to our pieces of paper. I also have a silver one not covered. As a control, you can actually see if nothing's covered what you're expecting to see on the paper.